second place behind Isaiah. Uh, how you feel first off? Uh, feeling really good. I mean, the race went just how it was supposed to, so it's always great when that happens. You, you, as soon as you came off the race, you ran over, gave Keith, the, the, the other uh, heat winner, yeah. a hug, said, you know, see you next week. It's going to be you, him, and Isaiah. What's that matchup like, you know, two uh, the I mean, top guys in Division Three? After running Mount Sac with them, I mean, I've been running with Keith all four years with Coastal Canyon, so I know him pretty well. I know the Park team, but... Uh, Definitely, after Mount Sac, it's going to feel great running with those guys. It's always a nice challenge, but it's fun. So. Obviously, this week, mindset kind of just take, take it easy, qualify. Next week, what's your mindset going to be besides go out all the way? Next week, it's really stay calm as you can. I mean, it's really hard to do with a race, especially when you got so much pressure to make it to the next meet. And state's definitely much harder to make it than it is to move on from prelims. So. Definitely just trying to stay calm and make sure a race goes just how it should and don't go out too fast, don't go out too slow. So. This course, majority of the race you're out there by yourself, there's no fans out there or anything. How, how easy it is to get in your own head and just kind of get uh, lost? It's very easy actually. My mind, I got a wandering mind, so <laughs> all over the place, but staying focused really, just looking at the guy in front of you, trying to hear the few people that are out there taking whatever they say even if it's not for you just make it about yourself <laughs> and uh, yeah it's really just trying to stay focused and making sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing because if you drift off too much you, you don't go as planned and that's one of the worst things that can happen so